Kailangan mo panoorin ang video na to kung balak mong i-upgrade ang SSD ng bago mong Legion Go. Tumating sa akin tong Legion Go a few days ago. No? Matagal na akong bumili ng sabrent 2TB SSD na to, kaya na-excite ako na palitan agad ang SSD nito. Of course, since I was in Singapore during Lenovo's event, hindi ko agad na-upgrade yung SSD nito. No? It was only during the weekend na nagkaroon ako ng time para i-upgrade siya. No? Bagong lahat, no, ang ginamit kong application para mag-load ang SSD ng Legion Go ay ang Macrium Reflect. May free trial yan, kaya hindi mo kailangan bilhin. In my experience, kinailangan kong tanggalin ang SSD ng Legion Go para mailagay ko sa enclosure. Kinailangan ko rin ng isa pang enclosure para naman sa target SSD ko, which is the Sabrent 2TB. No? I have links down below if you want to buy them. I could have used uh, Macrium Reflect directly from the Legion Go to clone my target SSD, pero dalawang beses ako nagkaroon ng error, no? Error 9 to be more specific. Kailangan mo rin ng isa pang PC where you can install Macrium Reflect so you can easily clone from the source SSD to the target SSD. Kasi as I mentioned earlier, every time I do it here, I always get error 9. According to Legion, I asked them over the weekend, the reason why it is happening is probably because of the cable I'm using. I tried so many cables in my experience, pero error 9 pa rin. So again, that's something that we can probably see in the future. It's probably just on the unit I'm using. But uh, again, just for your information, I suggest that you do the one that I mentioned earlier. 2242 ang size ng M.2 SSD ng Legion Go. So kung bibili ka ng SSD at enclosure, be sure lang no that uh, you're going to get a 2242 size at saka yung enclosure niya is compatible with it. no. I have linked down below kung ano ang ginagamit ko at saka yung suggested enclosures na pwede mo ring gamitin. Ngayon, ito na ang steps para ma-upgrade mo ang SSD ng Legion Go mo. I-power off mo muna ang Legion Go. Tanggalin mo ang controllers para malay flat mo ang Legion Go sa table. Just be sure lang na gumamit ka ng cloth para hindi magasgas ang screen ng gaming device mo. May anim na screws ang Legion Go. No? Tanggalin mo yan gamit ang PH000 screwdriver. Kapag natanggal mo na siya, kumuha ka ng pry tool o kaya naman ay guitar pick para maiangat mo yung bottom panel ng Legion Go. Medyo mahirap yan sa una, no? Huwag mo lang masyadong puwersahin kasi baka ma o masira yung back panel. Kapag nakaangat na ang lahat, madali mo nang matatanggal ang back panel ng Legion Go. Ngayon, kailangan nating tanggalin ang cable ng battery para hindi tayo magkaroon ng problema while we're going through this process. May sticker sa saksakan ng battery cable. Tanggalin mo lang yan at itago at saka mo unti-unting tanggalin ang battery cable. Kapag tanggal na, let's move on to the SSD. May sticker ang SSD. Hindi mo kailangan tanggalin buo yan, no? Kahit yung portion lang ng SSD. Tanggalin mo ang screw ng SSD. Kailangan mo ng PH0 na screwdriver para dito. Huwag yung sobrang liit at pipilitin kasi baka malus thread. Kapag natanggal mo na, it's time na para maklone ang drive na to. Cloning is very easy. Gamit ang Macrium Reflect na nabanggit ko kanina, you just need to identify the source drive. Click Clone This Disk. Click copy partitions at be sure lang na piliin mo ang shrink or extend to fill target disk. Wait for the process to finish and you should be good to go. Now for those of you na kumuha ng 256GB na SSD na Legion Go, then you want to upgrade to 1TB or 2TB, then you just have to do the same thing. Ngayon, kailangan mong ilipat yung heat shield mula sa original na 512GB SSD ng Legion Go sa bago mong SSD. Do not forget to do this step. Kailangan mong pagtsagaan ito, no? I started from the bottom part of the SSD, tapos yung gitna. Ilipat mo yan sa bagong SSD at ilagay mo sa Legion Go. Next, screw mo na yung SSD to the Legion Go at ibalik ang sticker. Isaksak mo rin yung battery cable at ibalik mo rin yung protective sticker niya. Reinstall the back panel and screw everything together again. Power up the Legion Go and you should be good to go. In my case, this Legion Go now has 2TB of SSD at saka 1TB of microSD card. Total of 3TB. It's the best way to keep all my games and play them on the go. Excited na ako no? para sabihin sa inyo ang mga experience ko sa device na to. Marami pa tayong videos na gagawin about the Lenovo Legion Go. I have an article on our website that talks about my initial impressions about this handheld gaming device. Magkakaroon din tayo ng full review at comparisons, kaya don't forget na mag-subscribe sa channel na to for more Legion Go tips and tricks. 
Next video, pag-uusapan natin kung ano-ano ang mga accessories na ginagamit ko with the Legion Go, including the Legion glasses. So, be sure to check that out very, very soon. This has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!